So you maybe browse through different social medias and you find sometimes people post the image that says, hey, this is AI generated. And you get like interesting, what does AI generate image uh, created, how it done, and most important, can I try it? Can I do this? And in general, AI generated, CG generated was for a long time, but it's now with uh, introducing new ways, new algorithms like disk diffusions and all this other stuff, you actually can do and have it from text to the image. So you just type normal text prompt and base it on your text prompt. AI will generate artwork. Literally, it will generate artwork, not image blending, not take somebody else's work. It will generate from the noise, from the scratch, no art. And it's kind of cool sound. And maybe you ask how I can do it. So in this video, I want absolutely beginner how you can start this and what service I recommend. And to closer to the end, we're going a little bit more uh, intermediate type so you can have the room to grow. And of course, if you're interested in more advanced stuff or just see how you can use it, text prompts or some other services, be sure to check my YouTube channel specifically on a mid journey or AI generated playlist. I put a link below so you can explore and see more way to do it. So I have plenty of the videos, how you can do this, how you can utilize full power of this. So let's start right here. First, if you look, it's several different AI out of the services and I will just look on a main and see which one I would kind of suggest to use and which one um, I found so-so. Uh, okay, anyway, let's begin this. The top of the quality, it's DALI 2. It's great, stunning images, everything, if you can get it in. The problem with this, it's a very long joint wait list. And you have a very limited amount of images you can create or prompts process, so you need to be careful. But general, I applied like a few months ago and I still been not yet in. So it's I still not yet tried. All what I see is what other people done and everything, but I did not even try by myself. So I cannot tell you anything, just one thing. If you want to try it, good luck to join it. It's a huge joint list, so you need to wait on this. Okay, so we scratch this out. Next, you can try to do it at home, like right here. You can go to um, what I'm doing on Colab with a uh, disk diffusion with a notepad. And you can see right here, I'm rendering some another animations going on. So you can try this. But honestly, if you notice when I scroll, it's a very geeky stuff. You need to know a lot of parameters. You need to set up a lot of stuff. And it's, you know, honestly, it's a paint in a specific place where you don't want to go there so it's no fun we don't want to do this wombo is another one but the problem with wombo it is a mobile app based so i cannot do from my um, computer and there's some limitations you can use copyright so on it's it's kind of I tried its limitation on stylization it's a fun play around but realistically you cannot create any good output from that that is useful for the sales or for the prints and so on. And they also tell you, yeah, we can print, but you need to pay us and do other stuff. So no Wombo. And we have a couple other ones I don't even mention here to create the specific portraits and other ones, but they're more focusing on the artist itself. So let's go next. Of course, the one that I enjoyed and I use it, it's a mid journey. And let me tell forward, they don't pay me. I'm paying for the services. I'm like any other users. I have it, no money from ref referral to them. I have absolutely no feedback. So it's just my um, use my own personal. Something I like it, something I don't like it. I have it in other videos where I mentioned this, but general what benefit, what I like about mid journey it is actually how it's used, how to access. First, I hate it because to use a Discord, but now actually I like it and I think it's more superior to other ones. And also, of course, use how, what quality it can produce. And I can use it, these images, my generated image side of things for the, any commercial works, rights and all this stuff. So this is big plus to me. Okay, so let's say we start with mid journey. How do you start with this? Before it was closed bait and you can get only by invitation somebody. However, they recently changed and it's now open beta. To join in, you need to just go follow the invitation, this open join link. I will post this down in the descriptions. 
So you can click there or you can just look on the screen and try to type these uh, numbers by yourself. So it's up to you or just open search for open beta invitation mid journey and you'll find on a web. So either ways, it will work. When you click on this link, this will bring you inside the script. And it says right here, accept invitation. You see how many users already there. See, so when you join, you will require to use it Discord. The one nice things about Discord, how say I was hating first, I'm like, oh no, not Discord. But I did find it's actually very useful because I can have it in a web browser with multiple windows. I can have it run as applications or I can have it on my mobile device and I will access to my channel all the time. So I can monitor access and modify my work at any place. And it's a huge bonus. Okay. Beside that, I can save very easy from there. So I actually like better this way than have it standalone applications or standalone mobile applications. So I like this way. So when you're joining the channel, and be sure you sign up with the Discord with your correct login and everything. And uh, this video not about how to use it, how to sign up with Discord. I hope you can find out, but it's very, very simple. Actually, you just go there, username, password and done deal. So with Discord, you come to this and you'll see you have a channel on the side. Right here will be Mid Journey. Actually, you want to go click on Mid Journey. And when you click, you open this different um, channel. So let's look what this we have right here. This one is our channels. Here's our kind of like rooms. You can create it private room chat. We have our main windows where we can communicate and some links uh, to the moderators, um, guides and so on on our right side. OK, so this is very basic layout if you're not familiar with uh, Discord. Generally, what we'll do, we'll select room on the left. We'll type something in the middle and you can see you have it a prompt. Oh, let me go. This is does not allow type. But if we're going to like general room, you can see right here on the bottom, we can type some command and then we can see our result. What it does, the boat that is set on the Discord watching for specific command. And when this command arrive, it will perform something. So it's like tell do this. If you just type text, it will come up as a text itself and like you using chat room or other things. So the command you use it, you, and this is one you want to try as soon when you join the um, beta test or join the kind of trial forward slash imagine. And if you start typing, you can see right here it's pop up. One thing, be sure when you click, you have this prompt open. If you just word, it will type as a word. And inside you can type whatever you want it. Fluffy bunny fighting octopus so okay and press enter so let's see what's happening uh view older let's go jump to pres present so right here uh where's my and the one problem is what's happening you can see because i'm in a public chat it starts scrolling it's a two because other people typing and my work get lost. And now I need to find where did I put this? Okay. So I need to go over, find my uh, hmm, string and sometimes getting very, very hard to this. When you're on trial a version, you actually have access only to the public room. Your best bet in this case, just find some room that nobody use it. Like for example, let's go to newbie, see if there anybody using this room. And just try type there and access. So this is your kind of uh, suggestions. You can go and jump to present, see if not so much activity. And this is, I think it's the biggest minus when you started. Okay. One thing also, when you just started, you have it, uh, some limitations. You can render about only 25 requests. So requests, it's mean you can pre-render this and I can click upscale. And I can upscale this image and see how it's look bigger. So we'll look in a second what does mean upscale and other stuff, but general 25. After this, you need join. To join, you need switch to the pay type. And when you run out of the time, it's actually prompt that says, hey, you want to do this? You can become pay client. So the pay client, you have it several different billing plans. And if we look on this, you can have a free trial, 25 minutes, about one minute per image basic 10 standard 30 corporate 600 okay uh personally 
I am on $30 bill. And this is the reason is this unlimited GPU time. So this one and the everyone did that that everyone switched from free trial says well i will try ten dollars i'll see if you like they will run out of time because you can switch to unlimited to render and after like oh i need to upgrade to 30. so if you think you're interested i will recommend stop wasting this ten dollars jump directly to the three thirty dollars plan okay um and after this you can cancel you can cancel that by the way you can cancel downgrade it at any time okay you can do this if you need it so it's not like you lock in a gym or some other one so you can do this way the reason is why i say the standard because you have it you can pre-render in a relaxed mode i will explain what is mean in relaxed mode unlimited and you have it 15 hours which is about 600 whatever the images you can render in a fast mode or upscale mode so you can do that way and sorry, max upscale mode, not just upscale mode, max upscale mode. And most important with the pay, any of this 10, 30, whatever, you can have it options to create your own channel, which I enjoyed. So to do create your own channel for the pay, you can go to mid journey right here where is a boat. You see mid journey board, right click and says message. So what this does, it's open the special channel for you that is only your um, strings will be. So it's meaning nobody else will type in here and it's image last. So this is, I like it because I can put my images, I go away, I come back after hours, kind of scroll back and it's all my work. So private channel, it's a way to go, okay? Otherwise, trust me, you type image, you say it's last and you never can find again it somewhere. So for now, I'm switching to my private channel, so I don't need to jump around. But actually, before I do this, let me go very fast again. Uh, let's go new mentions, say right here, general. Okay, where's my new mentions? And we'll can look. So you can kind of find about your names if you want it. But overall, let's look on the channels. What do we have? Announcement. You saw this announcement. It's the general where this says, hey, we have a new version of release, so on, on. This is very useful to going. Another useful thing is status. If for some reason your commands does not process properly or something happened, they will say, hey, we have a problem, for example, with this, we have this problem. So you can see, hey, it's not me, it's something with server going down because it is a server, it's a service. It does not work on your machine, it's work on a cloud somewhere processing. Below this, you have FAQ rules, which I recommend to read you can also access some rules if you're going directly to the um the mid journey git book and right here you can see you have your quick start manual which i highly recommend you can go over this stuff as you want to progress you can go check this one but it's also will be an faq and rules um below you have this club don't worry about this it will pop up when you render thousand two thousand or five thousand and so on i think i'm closer to seven thousand right now images so you can do this way um, below you have it also chat if you have any questions they're very good support if you chat directly with people ask questions if you need there um, you have it theme it it's more fun you can go there and see what people done like character rendering and I like about this because you can check what other people do and also look right there it's showing you what they are using so you can actually work with this some it's kind of funny because um, it definitely like this person says two three aspect row rate show it's won't read it does not work that way okay you actually need to give it command but generally you can look around and see what people using um the strings it's how you can get some inspiration and i'll show you how to get inspiration as well okay you have your image other stuff you have general channels and you saw mostly people work here I, if i'm going here it just see what other people done give me some inspirational ideas everything however when you subscribe you will have access to the your pro, to the area to the um gallery and other stuff you just need type me journey.com and it will take you to um your profile so this is will take to app okay let me go type like mid journey sign up with the discord we don't need to join beta by the way if you want this you go to home and right here you can see you also can join beta but let's go to join with the discord so i'm going to mine let's go to after rise there you go i'm in my home this by default is where you're going and you can see this is my images so i render them 
Nice things about this, it's all my gallery. I can search them by tags. I can search by name, whatever I'm rendered. And if you like it, you can always just click on the image itself. And you notice you have right here, you can save it. Um, image, you can also save command. Command will include full strings. Command prompt will be just the words, like this is just the words. But if I put any additional parameters, like for example, this is a rate show I want to add, then I want copy command. And best parts, you can not, don't need just do about this, about your work. If you go to community feed here, it's where I like to actually get better inspirations, which is higher. You can look on all these images and same things. You can go inside and you can say, hey, I want copy command. And after this, when you copy command, you can go, let's go imagine here, paste this command and you can see it's having everything and included our resolution and everything. By the way, very fast speak about AR or this command. It's a dash dash AR. It's mean a spec rate show. Uh, if you just type like what other, sorry, if you type this rate uh, 10 by two example, this is will be total ignored. So in this, for the rate show, you actually need to use a specific command. It's dash dash AR, a spec rate show, and you need to specify. 12 by 18 is interesting. People use different ratio. I would highly recommend stick to the traditional. For example, if you put it two by one, like this, you cannot do to the max because it's uh, journey does not expect, uh, does not recognize. I would uh, more go with traditional like 16 by nine, nine by 16 portrait and whatever. So this way you can upscale to the max. So it's have some limitations, but overall you can copy paste to the prompt and just do whatever other people done so you can access by the way i have a special video about uh, copyright just let you know ai generated art is not copyrighted so technically you can actually use this image that other people created in your work or uh, make your directive work on this based on that image however i highly 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 recommend you if you use somebody else work please ask for permissions it's not just about copyrights about respect other people uh, worry, a little bit, even string and IDs and other stuff. So I have it, people ask me and I'm always say, yes, you can use it for other works or whatever, but it's just nice rule to do. Uh, one thing notice also when you ask, uh, when you preview some work, like let's go right here to this one. Um, you have other options, how to say save. If it's not your job, you can save. You can also mark the option. For example, I say, hey, I like this. So I, I put it the symbol. Now it's mark and it will pop up on other people's feed. Also, you can go ahead, click and follow to specific person. So just example, let me go click following. I'll show you reason why it will show. And you can also bookmark. I highly recommend to use it bookmarks because what's happening when you go on your page and you scroll an image, come and go because it's a feed. Yeah, thousands of people created this. You can go there and you can click like on a bookmarks when you bookmark it and you can preview all of this that you bookmark personal feed, whatever you follow somebody, it will have it here. Um, I don't know why it's not yet updated, but you can follow to specific people and see what they are doing currently and other stuff. Home is yours and community feed. It's we just preview it's best one work from people what's going on. Below you have additional tools, which is help you to work with ranking. Most important is like dictionary will help what does specific words will help you uh, render what stylization because you can specify stylizations and so on your um, FAQ, documentation, everything. The one thing, keep it in mind, if you need it right here with your account, double thoughts, you go to manage plans. And when you sign up at any time, you can swap plan, cancel or do any other thing. So you can always access. So let's go back to our main page and just walk a couple things about creation very fast. So you notice that we was um, creating command. First command is was imagine. And imagine it's important command because it's still computer here one render and after you can specify what you want to render. For example, right here, I have a seascape clouds. This is what I put it inside. And when you render this, you will end up with set of four images with different resolutions. So if you like those images, you can click upscale on them, which is render to higher version of them. So you can preview. You can even going to higher upscale to max. But if you're on $10, it will produce, but take your GPU time. If you're on $30, you have two modes, relax, which is going as unlimited or fast. That is going against your GPU time. If you're on a relaxed mode, you click upscale. What's happening? It says, nope, you need to go on a fast mode to account against your 
GPU time. When you are scaled to max, it's going about 2048, the maximum resolution. So it's about double resolution and details from what you have it right now in this image. I would recommend be careful when you do this, just only upscale the one you know you need it. On this case, you will have it plenty of the time. And of course, when you do this, be sure what I pay attention to this relax be in a relax mode most of the time because then it doesn't count you because many times what's happening sometimes people go to fast mode to do some stuff okay like I switched the fast mode and now I'm going to upscale this to the max start upscaling to the max but on a fast mode but problem is it's still there I'm going to do something else and if I got to switch it so for me I switch to the fast mode I click upscale upscale whatever I needed and switch back to relax mode so I don't use it my art pay attention to this if you're not sure you can always type info and info will give you information what you have it so for example I had one running job I have it this many okay let's go very fast so it's tell me one subscription was renewed this is what currently I'm mode I'm paying attention to this I'm in relaxed mode it's what I wanted this is how much time I have it left I have it 65 percent left of GPU so I use it for some render and I'm on 30 dollars which is giving me 50 hours about one minute per image approximately in a fast mode here you can see how much I lifetime about 7,000 images almost I did from them 6,000 about in a relaxed mode you can if you run out of this time you can buy purchase additional time I think it's five dollars per hour or something like this which will you it will come to your meter usage they won't charge you without your permission keep this in mind if you run out of time you run out of time okay they will stop and says hey if you want it you can pay more and do this but they always meter and they never will charge you without your permission they also speak about charging and everything fast time if I have a 10 hours left and I, my time is expired it's 30 days billing I will lose all of my time so be sure before your time period is expired you actually use it all of your fast time render then you won't lose it any money or any GPU time so this is way you rendering uh, you can also save it you can click on image click open original you can save directly from here how I say access this way much 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 easy if you go to your profile home and you can save from here how I said before click on your image you want preview and click save and you can go back and forward to all your images and save this way so it's a little bit easy access through the home to your profile page to do that okay let's go back here and one more thing so I want to show again I want to be very fast and short if you have more questions, be sure to check my playlist about me journey where I go in details, how to use the strings, how this work, what to do and so on. So this will provide more information. There are other important things to keep in mind. If you type forward settings, OK, this is important part because it will open this view for you where you can see what is your currently settings and what you can change by just clicking simple on the buttons right here you can see we switch on the new version 3 it's a latest version I recommend to keep it on this stylization it is going from a lower stylization what is meaning it's how much derivative from uh, whatever you specify mid journal will go for example if I type I want ball I click low stylization so will be ball meter stylizations will be like ball with bumps High, uh, high stylization will be spiky ball or some other ones and very high it will go berserk one left it can be triangle ball whatever square ball it can go all crazy so this stylization will be how much it can spread around sometimes you can play around with this one and this is memory so if you click on a button it will remember till you next time going inside and change notice it will just add this additional string on stylizations if you need it below it's a quality this is does not use your fast render whatever but it is add extra time so on the relax mode image take about anywhere 10 to 15 minutes to render in an upscale mode with high quality you will double of this time so it will take a little bit longer but it's add more details to this more details it's not always the best trust me and I'll show you in some other videos what it's mean by different sometimes best quality it's a very good solution you have it also notice right here fast relax mode you can change from here regular upscale light upscale will reduction images on light upscale is good for the porches but general keep it regular and also you notice we have it private on public mode private mode will give you you need pay extra I think like 20 or 30 20 dollars so nobody can see your feed because right here in my profile anybody so let's go anybody can go on community feed 
and type my name you could play go there and you can access and see what other people do in a private mode it's will won't show there won't show your string so it's kind of if you want to keep it some of your work secret personally i like to share with people i always share my text prompt but everything have it fun so if you want you can switch but this is pay mode to change so this is general overview of your settings this is you can see on screen how set for mine and it's work very well so just know it's there and don't worry about this so create a string again remember this is what you want to do imagine um fluffy bunny if you want it it will render a square what i recommend for you remember this command a r and you must have a space many people just type instantly and it will give you error so you want to have a space between command and the values and we'll just going 16 by 9 this is default screen we'll go print put it and it start printing okay we'll start rendering for us keep it in mind when we do this way you can also specify in the strings you can specify seascape ocean stormy heavy cloud cliff so you can describe all what you see around i will recommend for you to add like high details what are realistic this is actually give it always good example for me as well you can specify time period styles and or the painter you want to go after specific style so you can add all of this and ai actually work very well with this and take um nice option this one more things i would recommend for you to edit like this art station trending what is happening it does not blend images it's creating them from scratch however it's like any artist it can reference to specific style and everything and if you reference like art station trending example it will use it arts or what people create there to as inspiration for when it's created if you're interested to see how the actually ai work how it's actually created i have more videos i'll put it links below or in a corner you can go check and see how actually ai created art because it's not taking other people images it does not blend them it's actually creating from noise from literally from rendering from scratches okay and created artwork but it does use a stylization and inspirations by what you specify so this is actually a nutshell very fast hopefully it will be easy for you to start again an overview will go follow that link or put it um go to midjourney.com home okay to this link if you want it go click join beta it's open beta or i will post for you this link from the announcement here so i'll post this link so you can join by link or go directly you'll need to install disc uh discord you must have an account with discord this is one of the requirement when you go inside you will have it on a free beta go try create your images see how they work and forward slash imagine just start with this simple simple link when you feel a little bit more adventure go to the quickbook docs go right here to the user manuals faq and so on and explore the rest what you want to do if you feel you want to do more you can always join in pay plan when it's come up and how i said before the pay plan i would recommend go straight to the 30 dollars and use it in the relax mode because you then you can create a lot of and unlimited images but you can always start with just 10 dollars and see what is take you there and uh, from that point then you want to enjoy more command you want to put it images we have it more complex and go ahead and join uh subscribe to my youtube channel uh go put this bell notifications and other stuff when more mid journey videos coming up and you can always check my playlist on mid journey where I'm going over again those extend commands how you can put it images how the uh, mid journey work and so on so way more videos there to watch hopefully you're enjoying to create your own images let me see what you create share your images share your work um join my follow me with a mid journey on my channel see what i created so you can copy this new strings i always try to discover something new and created something more interesting there and please let me know what you think if you like it or what what do you think about the video so it will helpful put a thumbs up if you like it if you don't like it put a two thumbs up okay and uh, subscribe to my channel click on notification that will help me spread these videos and just help to other people again thank you for watching and have fun time creating